Hello everyone. Uh, so today we are going to discuss about turnover number and turnover frequency of catalyst. So before going through that, we have to know something about uh, catalysts. Okay. So catalysts work by uh, repeatedly binding the reactants, facilitating uh, their transformation into products. And we also know that that during this process, uh, the catalysts are not consumed. Okay. We all know that we can recover the catalyst after the reaction is completed. So after the reaction is completed the catalyst can bind to another reactant transforming them into products so we can say that the catalysts work in a cycle and so uh, so this uh, turnover number this turnover number uh, is all about how many cycles a, a catalyst can perform before before the catalyst is deactivated okay so i'm reading it uh, the turnover number of a catalyst represents the number of times a single molecule of the catalyst can participate before it becomes deactivated or consumed it measures the efficiency of a catalyst okay so uh, it is the measure that uh, how many cycle a catalyst can perform before it is deactivated um, if it can perform more cycles that that means the catalyst is more efficient okay uh, so <coughs> we have a formula of turnover number uh, so it is amount of reactant divided by amount of catalyst into yield and this yield should be in decimal okay this should be in decimal in decimal okay so the next this uh, turnover frequency so turnover frequency is nothing but the turnover number per unit of time that how many cycles are performed per unit of time okay it is a measure of catalyst activity per unit of time so the formula is turnover number divided by time okay so here comes a problem after solving this problem you will you will uh, know uh, very clearly about turnover number and turnover frequency so the question says okay uh, this question appeared in gem 2019 okay the turnover frequency for the catalytic reaction a the amount of a is 1 mole the amount of catalyst is 0 0.01 mole <coughs> and the time required for this re reaction is 5 hours okay, so this is the uh, product with 90 percent yield of the product this so this was uh, an entity type question okay entity type question mm, for two marks okay entity type question so we have to calculate the turnover frequency we know that turnover frequency is equal to turnover number by time okay so before uh, calculating turnover frequency we have to deal with turnover number and we also know that turnover number is equal to amount of amount of uh, reactant amount of reactant by amount of catalyst okay amount of catalyst catalyst into yield Okay, into yield. So the amount of reactant is one mole, is one mole, and the amount of catalyst is zero point zero one mole, zero point zero one mole, and the yield is ninety percent. And I have already told that the yield should be in decimal. Okay, so in decimal ninety percent is zero point nine. Okay, so after calculating this, you will end up getting ninety. You will end up getting ninety so the turnover frequency we can calculate the turnover frequency now the turnover number is 90 and the time is five hours okay five hours so this is equal to 18 hour inverse 18 hour inverse so we can say that the catalyst can perform 18 cycle per hour okay this this particular catalyst can perform 18 cycle per hour